Just in case you couldn't tell from the song, this is Daytona, USA. And they just don't make music like this for video games anymore. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. I think this music falls into the category of it's so awful, it's good. the same guys that did the Game Over Yeah song for Sega Rally. Wonder whatever happened to them. Please select a race course. Beginner. Please choose manual or automatic transmission. Automatic. Gentlemen, start your engine. Gentlemen, they forgot the ladies who might be playing this game. Wasn't there a club out there called GLOS Gloss? The Gorgeous Ladies of Sega. And their theme song was from BWP, Bitches with Problems. I'm not making that up. That, that was a real group, actually. Look that up. They were like the all-girl version of NWA. I think they had a 900 number back in the uh, early 90s. I don't know why I remember this stuff. You can take it. You're looking good. You can take. Welcome, Welcome to, to Victory, Victory Lane. Lane. You made it. You made it. You play second. second. Although I made up the gorgeous ladies of Sega, not to imply there aren't gorgeous ladies who are down with Sega out there, I certainly hope there are, but the GLOS group was fictional. BWP, on the other hand, is real. Just as real as the awesome music in this game, and by awesome, I mean memorable. It's like Frankie Goes to Hollywood meets cheesy Japanese arcade music. It certainly cuts through the gameplay and stands out. Daytona USA is an arcade game from Sega, released in the arcades in 1994. This version on the Sega Saturn was a launch title in 1995. I mistakenly said in a previous review that Sega Rally was a launch title. I was thinking of this game. This is a launch title, and as I understand it, it was rushed to market. There's a couple things on screen that show that. There's a lot of pop-in with the graphics in this game. You can take it. It's very choppy, and graphically I don't think it's the strongest effort on the Sega Saturn, but that's not to say that Daytona USA isn't an extremely fun game to play. Because it is. It's an excellent arcade racer. And the track design is excellent. The tracks remind me of some of the earlier Gran Turismo courses. You placed 21st. The controls in Sega Rally are actually pretty good. They're very arcade style. You have an over the car view and also a pseudo cockpit view. And in short, this game is a lot of fun. You start at the back of the pack, you have to work your way to the front to win the race. It's an arcade game. You can play in arcade mode or a Saturn mode. There's only a couple different choices of cars, which are basically the same car. 
And you can find this game out there for an incredibly low price. I haven't seen the remake of this. I heard they made another version a year or two later with some of these some of the problems fixed. But many people who had a Saturn played this game back in the day. In fact, I played this game back in the day. I had a friend that had a Saturn. And it's a lot of fun. This is a fun game with some technical issues, but you know the, the gameplay really makes up for it. And if not the gameplay, then certainly the music. What you should do is record this music, put it on your iPod, then when you go on a first date with someone, put this on the car stereo, full blast, and drive like a maniac. You never know, your date could be a member of Gloss, the gorgeous ladies of Sega. Unless she's a member of Glon, the gorgeous ladies of Nintendo, in which case she'll probably slap you and get out of the car. Can't console rivalry end?